I hate plastic. That's why we engulf on a 15-year mission to turn that into something that we actually want. We have collected around 750 new materials that's coming from our daily post-consumer waste. It can go into any consumer product at lower cost, higher performance. First of all, let me show off a hand who actually recycles something today. Wow, okay, this is a we weird audience, but guess what? <laughs> guess what? There's actually, in the United States, we have the lowest recycling rate of all the developed nations. It's plateauing at 34% recycling rate. You look at the waste here. It has tires, a pair of waste, on top of plastic bags and PET bottles. I think this is the one of a big problem here. No one actually wants to be responsible for all that waste that we're creating. We are responsible. All of us here are responsible for this mess. Our solution is we have to make trash sexy. And this is what National Geographic is so good about. For us engineer, that is engineering porn, okay? <laughs> so why is that? Because this is the highest performance animal in the ocean. It's the fastest, it has the scale that's optimized for speed, and it's just a pure physical form. It's no waste, zero waste. Everything is considered, everything is designed. But this is what we get. Every grain of rice, every wheat, every bread you eat has 20% waste, fiber waste. Every PET bottle, all these are perfectly non-toxic material that can constantly re-recycle, reuse. And then we have a growing e-waste, electronic waste, huge amount of it. It has precious metal and it has a lot of toxic element. Let me get nerdy a little bit here, okay? <laughs> Why we are not turning that into product? Today, if you touch your clothes, there's no recycled content in it. There's the seat you're sitting on. The environment that we're in has no recycled content in it. This is a problem. Why? Why not? The reason is because the polymer chain got broken in the recycling process. Then how do you make them strong again? If you're a weak animal, weak animal cannot be sexy. Maybe they are, but, <laughs> but you know, they, they're not very sexy. So we, we appeal, we are actually drawn to pretty things. So how do you make that sexy again? We have to use fiber to bridge in between. And this is a, we go back to history. The Romans built cement aqueducts, Chinese built walls, all with agricultural waste, grind it down into these powder form. They mix into the cement. What it does is it has silicon dioxide in it, amorphous silicon dioxide. It's a natural glue. It's actually forming these broken polymer chain. If you mix into it, it actually uh, starts to come together, conglomerates into much, much stronger materials. The ancient does it. Why aren't we doing that today? So that's one of the solutions, how we reinforce material using organic waste. So why are we doing this? Toxicities. This is a piece of leather, and that's a piece of recycled PET fabric on the side. Just look at how many steps that's required to produce and process a piece of leather fabric versus a piece of recycled PET waste. Every step requires carbon footprint, energy, chemical. On the recycled PET side, you only use water, heat, and knife to cut the pieces down. Why aren't we doing this more? We invent seven new materials a month. We have collected around 750 new materials that's coming from our daily post-consumer waste. But the problem is no one wants to buy them, okay? So we have to pioneer making up new applications. So I'll show you very quickly what we did. This is what we call molecular cooking. Molecular cooking on all levels. Uh, molecular gastronomy at the marketing front, new pioneering, engineering, and designing and marketing fronts. It can go into any consumer product at lower cost, higher performance. We have built 40-story tower with trash, campuses, nine-story tall building, museum. We just finished the biggest e-waste recycling plant. So we're turning the waste of a waste into all the building structure. We have worked on a food waste recycling plant in Taiwan. And we're also doing a car waste recycling plant that's finishing this year. This looks like a piece of marble. It's not, it's right here. It's a piece of uh, recycled PET, non-woven, no chemical added, heat press structural material. And it's also, uh, air purifier, okay, made from cigarette waste, which is tobacco, which I smoke uh, for many years, okay. Uh, it can be formed, shaped into a lot of different format. We turn it into this in Milan this year. This is a pavilion. It's actually uh, inspired by the natural lung molecule, 
uh, and that's actually capturing formaldehyde in the air. And it's integrated with electronics, it's all interlocked, single material, no glue. And I want you to focus on the waste of the waste of that cigarette butt production process, which are those chairs. We actually turn that into this furniture product using the cigarette butts. So the project is called Anything But, okay? <laughs> And this process allows other designers globally to do even more different type of furniture products. Please, this has to look sexy to you now because this is a leftover of a typical German beer festival, okay? Look at all that material that's out there. This is a possibility here. And we turn that, all that crap, e-waste, food waste, recycled Nike shoes, into Recycle Nike store in New York. You can go see in Paris, La Marais, you can go see in Milan, London. You can see all these stores that's made from apparel waste and e-waste and any type of waste. We scale across 23 countries, taking portable manufacturing machineries into developed world because we want to keep the trash in the developed world, not to ship to India, China, Taiwan, anywhere else. Thank you. Zappelin means the garbage people. But the funny thing is, is that they don't believe there's such thing as garbage. They see value in things that other people can't see the value in. And they're very proud of it.